healthy. The CDC is warning doctors about a rare outbreak of hepatitis and adenovirus in young children. It's growing more serious. One child has died. At least 17 others have required liver transplants, according to the World Health Organization. So how concerned should parents be, and what are the symptoms of these infections? Dr. Tina Tan, a liver specialist with Lurie Children's Hospital, joins us to explain. Good morning to you, and thank you for being with us. My pleasure. Can you tell us briefly what is hepatitis and how does one become infected with it? So hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver that can cause um, cellular damage to the liver. And the most common causes of hepatitis are viral. Um, the ones that you hear about most commonly are hepatitis A, B, C, and E. Um, but this is an unusual cause of hepatitis in normal healthy children. What are the symptoms? So the symptoms of hepatitis are someone can complain of abdominal pain, they can have nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, they can have fever, um, and they also can have a decreased appetite and not feel well. And then later on, what you can see is that as the liver damage gets worse, individuals can take on a yellowish cover, color to their skin as well as to the whites of their eyes. Now you said that hepatitis can be caused by a virus. Is that where the adenovirus comes in? Yes. So this is an unusual cause of hepatitis in um, normal, healthy children. Um, it is, it's been found in some of the cases that adenovirus serotype 41, which can cause vomiting um, and diarrhea, um, actually is not a common cause of hepatitis in normal, healthy children. Um, however, in persons that have an immune compromised situation, um, it can cause hepatitis. But in normal, healthy children, this is not usually a cause of hepatitis. Now, are you seeing the spread of these two, these two viruses, these two illnesses in Chicago? We're not so far seeing it, but I think that, you know, parents and um, health care providers need to just be on the um, look out for kids that are presenting with symptoms of hepatitis so that, you know, they can be worked up for that. And if somebody is found to have adenovirus and hepatitis, what do you do to treat? So for adenovirus, there really is not very much in the way of treatment. Um, what we're going to do is do supportive care. Um, and as things get worse, um, we can basically, um, you know, look at other ways to support these individuals. But adenovirus right now, there really is not a treatment. It's mostly supportive care. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.